Since target shooting's fun, most students want to behave in target shooting class. After all, they're getting to shoot an air rifle in gym. However, sometimes you'll have students that may be disruptive. We've actually found that some of the students that are traditionally disruptive in other classes behave better during target shooting. If you do have a disruptive student, though, there's four rules that we want to show you as a coach that can help you. The example we're going to use here is making sure all students are behind the line. Sometimes you may have a student that isn't behind the line. The first step is to repeat the rule. All students are behind the line. Most of the time, that'll work. But sometimes, the next step that we'd need to apply would be peer pressure, and this oftentimes happens organically. Somebody in the class is going to notice that the foot is in front of the line because they want to shoot, and everybody wants to keep participating. So the second step is typically peer pressure. But sometimes we have to move to the third step, which is called teamwork. I'm going to approach the student, and I'm going to basically ask for a sign. In this case, I'm going to say, can you give me a thumbs up when everybody's feet are behind the line, including yours? And most of the time, this is a lot. The teamwork piece is combining peer pressure with team. You're talking directly to them. All the other students want to shoot, right? And most of the time, students are going to comply. But sometimes, we have to go to the fourth step, and that's to remove shooting privileges. So at this point, you've given the student ample opportunity to comply, and most of the time, they will, usually after the first one, which is to repeat the rule. But if not, you can mention that, hey, we're going to set the next few rounds out. Once you're able to follow the rules, then we can get you back up on the line, you can shoot too.